everybody loves blogs. We all like to read them. Some of us even like to start them. Hell, I've even got a course all about blogging. But blogs on Squarespace can be a little bit marmite for some people. Basically, it has some features that people love, but equally, some people hate. So one of these features is at the bottom of a blog post, you have a navigation and that's for the next article and for the previous article. This can look a little bit messy and some people, they just don't want it in there. Personally, for me, I've applied some code onto my website that changes the styling of it. But some people, they just want to do away with it completely and that's fine. But if you want to do that, you need to use a little bit of CSS. Oh, don't worry, it's super simple. It's just a copy and paste job. If you're not familiar with code, I've got you covered. Now, if you are familiar with code, great. But we're going to go through step by step to make sure everyone can hide this navigation at the bottom of all blog posts. So we're looking to hide the previous and next navigation in a blog post. First off, we have to create our blog and then look at the blog posts. So if we go into pages, we've got a blog set up already. But if you need to set up a new blog, just hit plus. Then we want to find collections and blog then we can select what layout we want. We can customize this later on, but we'll add that in. Give it a name, so let's just call it resources, for instance. If I could spell resources, and then we've got our blog post. So these are just mock blog posts to show what a blog could look like laid out. Anyway, we've got that in now. We want to get rid of this navigation. So let's say we navigate to blog, blog post title 2. You can see we've got both headers here, but these are only four words long. So if we were to have blog post title one, for instance, and we gave this, let's just copy and paste. So just make it twice the length. And then we click done and save. If we go back to blog post title two now and open this up, you can see it starts, it starts overlapping itself. And this looks, to be honest, terrible. So let's say, I mean, you can have titles that are a lot longer than this. So let's just double it again. Hit done. I mean, that is a little bit long, but just to showcase what it looks like. If we now navigate to title two, you can see it starts to stack. And then when we go onto mobile, it, it looks terrible. Let, let's be honest. So we have a choice. We can either shrink it down with code or we can get rid of it with code. And what a lot of my clients personally ask me is just get rid of it. So... With that in mind, what we want to do is head into Google Chrome Developer Tools. So we want to hit Shift, Command, and C. Then we want to hover over the section that we want to get rid of. So you don't hover over a certain bit like this, because if we were to hover over this and hide this, then it's just going to hide certain parts. You see, when I hover over this bit here, it's just the title, so it wouldn't get rid of the arrows. What we want to do is keep going up until we find the parent target, so this. Now to find that we can go up the code or we can just click here and, and hover until we get everything highlighted. So we click here, we go into we go into here and it looks to me like we want to get rid of this. So item pagination data collection type blog. So what we'll do is go back. Then what we want to do is then hit design, custom CSS, give ourselves a couple of lines and we want to paste this in. Then we want to open up our curly brackets and then we want to put, let me just move this up a little bit. Then we want to put display, colon, non, semicolon. And you can see that gets rid of it. And not only does it get rid of the content, it gets rid of that spacing at the bottom of the blog as well, which is really important. Because if we were just to get rid of the, the navigation titles and arrows specifically, We'd have this big white expanse at the bottom of the page and we don't want that so getting rid of the whole thing is important and that's that so that's how you hide the next and previous controls on a blog on squarespace if you want this code head to the description it'll be in there okay so if you enjoyed that video make sure to leave a like subscribe and check out all of the squarespace resources in the description